I want to talk about the Xbox. And I think I should go in the Macronidal, 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 because you. You guys tell me if I could sing, right? I think I could sing, you know? It'd be really messed up if, you know, you, you tell me I could sing, I go in the Macronidal, and I embarrass myself. That's cold blooded. That should be somewhere to get somebody. Just tell them, like, if a group of people come up together and say, yo, you can sing. Like, as soon as he starts singing, <laughs> if somebody sing, they already got a passion for it. So, if he starts singing, then a group of your friends come up and say, yo, you can sing, you know? And you pay random people to, to, to tell him he can sing when he starts singing, whatever the case is, you know? And he goes on American Idol and he bashes himself. Oh my God, that'll be one way to guess. That'll be a great, oh my God, that would be a great prank. I may pull that off one day. I'll see if I can orchestrate that. I want to talk about the Xbox. Xbox 720. Whatever it's going to be called. I don't know what it's going to be called. I keep saying Xbox 360 like a ton of times. I just feel like talking about it, you know, for some rants, some, you know, whatever, some of my conclusions, my statements, some stuff, my opinions, you know, what I think about the Xbox again and again and again because this is really the kind of the news to, to really be talking about right now. A lot of people online still believe that how the Xbox is going to be an always online thing, and that may may not be true at this point. I have no idea. We don't have any idea. Even though Microsoft came out, an employee stated that how the Xbox is always going to be an online thing, and may be more than likely be an online thing. He don't see a reason why it shouldn't be. All your stuff is online or online today. So, and that made people believe that how the, the next Xbox could always be an online thing, and. Uh, Microsoft came out and said, you know, we don't, you know, that this guy doesn't speak for us anymore. They didn't say it like that, but I, I read it like that. That's how I saw it. They said he doesn't work for him anymore. And, you know, they got, they, they basically fired him. Obviously, he got fired because he, he made the internet go upside down. And the internet almost exploded. It really did. The world turned upside down, sideways, back to the front, towards the sun, whatever that means. And, the internet almost exploded because people are like angry. Why would it always be online? Like if you don't have an online internet connection, you cannot play any games because it wants you to be online. And well, he got fired. So and they came out and made a statement that you know they don't they didn't release any kind of spec, uh, specs for the, the console. Nobody knows what nobody knows what the thing looks like. All we know is that they're working on it and it's gonna be released this year, probably. Just like the PS4. And so, I don't know. People still believe that how it, it's going to be an online thing. And still, I don't know. It could be. You don't know either. Because even though Microsoft is stupid, I believe they're stupid enough to come out. Even though all this thing happened, the internet went upside down, the world comes upside down. Like, oh, wait, no, let's make it all, always online. They'll forget about it by the end of the year. I don't. Microsoft, I don't. Oh my God. Anyway, that, that was just an employee. And, you know, Microsoft came out and said that. And they shouldn't do that anymore with the online always online thing because you see how the world reacted the internet the world almost exploded towards the sun that, that means and if they come out and do something like this it's, it's, it's really stupid it's, it's, it doesn't it's bad business you know it's not gonna work they're gonna lose money and a company's goal is to make profit and they can't make profit if everybody hates an idea and that idea would be an always online system and they see that so they're not gonna do it if they do it, everybody needs to be fired. You need to hire all kinds of new people. Because it doesn't make any sense for that to happen. See what I'm saying? But people online still believe that. And I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think Microsoft is that stupid at all. And I, I think it's going to not always be an online thing. But I think one of the reasons they may be doing it is because they want to stop used games. They don't make any profit from used games. You go and buy a game at GameStop used, they make no money from it. So by making it, um, well, yeah, that kind of doesn't really make a lot of sense either. So by making it online, they, they could, uh, you know, stop you from putting in used games because one game is already registered. I mean, they can already do that already. It doesn't, it doesn't always have to be online, you know, but if you are allowed, you put in the game, it does a security check. So, but this game is registered to somebody else when it's played this you can't play it you gotta pay $15 or so to to play it and we, we, I think we've seen that already with some some games that uh, are already out there 
well, I think on the Xbox and PS3, if you want to play the multiplayer, in certain games, I believe, you got to pay like 15 bucks or something like that to go online. Uh, so that's, you know, that, that, that's one way of doing it. People are not going to like it, but I think that's probably the preferred method I would choose and not to have it always online to and block the, the used games. Even if they want to block the used games, I don't personally, I really don't care about the used games because I bought all my games brand new. I'm a PC gamer. I bought all my games brand new. I prefer digital content. I have a terabyte hard drive in my PC. I don't mind. And these new consoles that are coming out nowadays, they have to at least have a terabyte hard drive in them, especially with the PS4 since they want to make everything digital. That's what they stated, uh, that how all the games are going to be digital. And they're gonna have hard copies and digital copies. I don't know if it's all the games are gonna be all the games are gonna be digital, but I don't know if all the games are gonna be hard copy. We'll find that out later on at E3 or when the game's released. You know, we'll see in motion. So with all that, all these games you want to download digitally, I'll say at least a terabyte hard drive should be uh, good. Maybe even two terabytes. They're not that expensive anymore. I paid a year ago, two years ago, I paid eight dollars for a terabyte hard drive. So it, it, it's not that expensive so I think they could fit at least a 1.5 2 terabytes hard drive a 2 terabyte hard drive would be perfect for that anyway I don't think it's gonna always be online that will be a stupid idea to, for Microsoft to do and it wouldn't make any sense and they'll lose a lot of money and the company wants to make a lot of money anyway thank you guys for watching and I will be sure to rant about this more in the future I still got some things that I think I wasn't I'm not able to say here because I'm out of time and I'm going to talk you guys later go ahead and subscribe and this rate the video and go ahead and subscribe again and hit the subscribe all over again and again and again and again and again and, again. and I'll talk to you guys later